think we have time for one more quick question. What is the Lewis structure of IF2 minus? So to find the Lewis structure of this atom, let's find the total valence electrons. So iodine has seven valence electrons. And fluorine also has seven, but there are two fluorine atoms, so we multiply that by two. And the overall charge of the ion is negative one. So we're going to add an extra electron. Oops. And if we add these all up, you get 22 valence electrons. So first I'm going to draw my iodine as my central atom. And then I'm going to draw single bonds to my two terminal atoms and add all of fluorine's lone pairs. So at this point, I count out to see how many I've drawn so far. So each bond contains two bonding electrons. So there are two bonds, so that's four. And then each fluorine contains the six uh, electrons in the lone pairs. So 12 plus four. So there's only 16 that I've drawn. So I need to draw six more to get 22. So for the remaining six, I'll draw them on my iodine. So now let's try to find out where that negative charge will go. So we can do that by calculating formal charge, which is the number of valence electrons minus the number of non-bonding electrons minus the number of bonding electrons divided by two. So let's do fluorine first. So fluorine has seven valence electrons. The number of non-bonding electrons are the electrons in the lone pair. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Number of bonding electrons is two because there's one bond. So 7 minus 6 minus 1 is equal to 0. So now let's do the same thing for our iodine. Iodine has 7 valence electrons. The number of non-bonding electrons is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this time the number of bonding electrons, so since there are two bonds, there are four bonding electrons in total, divided by 2. So 7 minus 6 minus 2 is negative 1. So therefore, the negative charge is shown on the iodine. So let's see what the junior tutor said. They got the same answer. So this solution is correct. Okay, so if you enjoyed today's Q&A and you'd like to be notified of when we do this next, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell below. And if you'd like to submit a question of your own, then check out the links in the description. And also, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and a comment. And uh, yeah, so you can also share it with your friends and classmates if they needed any help with chemistry. This has been Donna from One Class, and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Thank you.